I'm gonna actually state why I think Tesla's Optimus robot is in my opinion going to dominate the AI robot market so but before I do that let's just go ahead and kind of go through the details um, of what this humanoid robot is and so I'm going to talk about the second generation humanoid robot because right now that's in the market and then the third generation is coming up and Elon Musk actually mentioned this in an interview but anyway so that the second generation humanoid robot of Tesla Optimus is actually incredible it's really pushing the boundaries and kind of setting new standards here are, again some of the most advanced uh, features and the, and the key features that really make this Optimus truly exceptional. So first of all, the enhanced dexterity and the hand functionality is crucial here. So Optimus got a major upgrade with enhanced that have 22 degrees of freedom. Again, this is incredibly close to human hands capability, which again, human beings have 27 degrees of freedom. So it's, it's kind of way more advanced than figure two even, uh, but you can see that this uh, 22 degrees of freedom gives it the ability to actually even perform additional difficult tasks that a normal robot wouldn't do. So these advanced hands, again, allow Optimus to perform tasks that require precision and dexterity, like for example, picking up delicate objects and assembling components. And this makes it a perfect fit for tasks in manufacturing. And also beyond that, like for household items, because in uh, the hands itself, it has really great functionality. It has the ability to actually sense heat, touch, and be able to apply a pressure according to what object it's picking up which really showcases how incredible the engineering is behind the hands and elon musk actually mentioned this in an interview with with lex freeman that the most important and the hardest engineering for a humanoid robot goes in the hand explains how difficult it is to create the functionality of uh, fingers and hands and all of the abilities that we have that we take for granted Tesla has integrated a cutting edge neural network into Optimus, enabling it to basically learn and perform tasks autonomously. So this AI really allows Optimus to process vast amount of data and improve its performance over time. It can handle tasks like moving battery cells, for example, on production line, which they have already incorporated in Tesla production lines, and then working in coordination with other robots, kind of really showcasing its advanced problem solving skills and its adaptability to the environment. So so the Tesla Optimus also has an extended battery life and it's really efficient. So Optimus boasts a robust battery system right now that supports extended operational hours. So this feature really, again, ensures that robot can handle long shifts and continuous tasks without frequent recharging. And this is super important when it comes to a robot, a humanoid robot that's working, whether it's in a factory environment or it's working in a natural home environment. Uh, again, Tesla's focus really has been on energy efficiency, which which means that Optimus can really maximize uh, productivity while kind of really minimizing downtime. And again, one of the biggest reasons why I really think that uh, Optimus robot is gonna dominate the market is, and Elon Musk mentioned this in an interview, the, I, the concept of a humanoid robot to be able to be accessible for general public means that it needs to have a mass production. What does that mean, right? So mass production is a crucial for every single technology in order for it to be adapted by the wider um, society. And the reason for that is because it needs to be at a price point where a normal person is able to afford it. And that's what Elon Musk has the advantage because of the fact that they have mastered this concept of mass production with their Tesla cars and uh, with their battery operations. So they have a huge advantage compared to other robots. So that's why in my opinion, like Tesla is gonna dominate this market in the future just because of that simple reason that they have uh, the ability to mass produce these things.